Hi, welcome to Contributor Tutorials. My name is Sean, and today I'm going to show you how to reduce skin discolorations. When doing beauty retouch, we always want to make sure that we make our models look as best as they can, but keeping the personality of the model themselves. And in this case, we do have some redness under the model's eyes and on the nose, as well as some age spots on the forehead that I'd like to reduce just to make him look better overall. So I'm just going to try to even out the tone of his skin. I'm going to do that by using Dodge and Burn, and I'm going to create a new layer to do that. So from the Layer menu, I'm going to choose New and Layer. I'm going to make sure that I choose the Soft Light as our mode, and I'm going to check the Fill with Soft Light Neutral Color 50% Gray. I'm going to rename this label, uh, this layer, Dodge and Burn, because that's what we're going to do to it. And I'm just going to hide my background layer, and as you can see, what we do have is just a 50% gray over top of the background layer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our dodge and burn tools to affect the density of this gray layer, which will in effect change the background layer. I think the best way is just to sort of show you what we can do with these tools. So the first one is dodge, which reduces the density. So this is going to lighten. I'm gonna go up into the menu here and just make sure that I have midtones chosen and exposure of about 50% is more than enough. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm just going to start painting some of these darker areas that I want reduced. I'm just going to slide around here and get under the eyes here. And this eye as well. Some of the area around the nose. So it doesn't take too long. As you can see, we've reduced some of those areas there already. Now the next thing to do is there is some white spots that I would like to be a little bit darker just to even out that balance between the skin. So what we're going to use is the burn tool which will actually darken or add density on that gray layer to make this look a little bit more smooth. So I'm just going to go into here and, and just darken some of those areas where we had some of the whiter spots. And I'm just going to click before and after on our dodge and burn layer. And as you can see, we've definitely evened out the skin. But whenever I do make these kind of beauty edits, I always like reducing the opacity of this layer. It just helps it look a little bit more natural. And as you can see, I've, I've reduced the opacity by 50%, but we still have that effect showing through quite nicely. And it does look really natural. Just going to pull back a little bit. And again, before and after. I'm quite happy with that result. So the next thing I'm going to do is flatten the image, which merges the dodge and burn layer that we had to our background layer. And again, before and after. I'm quite happy with that. And that's the look that I was looking for. So I hope this has helped you and please check back for more tutorials. Take care.